Welcome to this tutorial on removing rows that contain zeros in Microsoft Excel. In this video, we'll explore two effective methods to accomplish this task. Let's get started. Let's see the first method to delete rows that contain zeros in Microsoft Excel. In this method, we'll use the powerful, filter, feature to quickly identify and remove these rows. To begin, open the Excel worksheet containing the data you want to work with. Click and drag your mouse to highlight the entire range of data that you want to examine for rows containing zeros. This selection will be used later in the process. Next, head to the Excel ribbon at the top of the window. Look for the Data tab and click on it to access its options. Within the Sort and Filter group, locate the Filter button and click on it. This action will enable the filter feature for your selected data range. Now that the filter feature is enabled, navigate to the column that contains the values you wish to examine for zeros. Click on the small arrow icon in the header of that column. A drop-down menu will appear with various options. Uncheck the Select All option and then check the box next to the Zero option. This action will filter the data to show only the rows that contain zeros in the selected column. With the rows filtered to display only those with zeros, use your mouse to click and drag to select all the filtered rows. Once the rows are selected, press the Control key on your keyboard and hold it down. While still holding the Control key, press the minus key on your keyboard. This combination of Control plus will delete the selected rows, which contain zeros. And now, let's see the second method to delete rows that contain zeros in Microsoft Excel. In this method, we'll utilize the power of Visual Basic for applications to create a macro that will automatically remove these rows. To begin, ensure that the Developer tab is visible in the Excel ribbon. If it's not visible, follow these steps to enable it. Go to the File menu, select Options, then choose Customize Ribbon. In the Customize Ribbon window, find the Developer checkbox and check it. Click OK to enable the Developer tab. Now, go to the Developer tab, which should now be visible in the ribbon, and click on the Visual Basic button. This will open the Visual Basic for Applications editor. In the VBA editor, you should see a window with the Project Explorer on the left and the Code window on the right. If a new module is not already visible, you can insert one by clicking Insert in the menu and selecting Module. This will add a new module to the project. Now, copy the provided VBA macro code from the tutorial and paste it into the code window of the new module. The VBA macro code should look like this. With the VBA macro code inserted, close the VBA editor to return to the Excel interface. To execute the macro and remove rows containing zeros, follow these steps. Click on the Developer tab in the Excel ribbon. In the Code group, click on Macros. In the Macros dialog box that appears, you should see the Delete row if contains zero macro listed. Select the Delete row if contains zero macro from the list and click Run. Once the macro is executed, you need to select one range that you want to delete row if it contains zero in your data range, and then it will delete any rows that contain zero values. And there you have it. Two effective methods to delete rows containing zeros in Excel. Choose the one that best suits your needs to streamline your data manipulation tasks. Thanks for watching.